president from danger. In Cartagena, we got help from strangers. Thought we deserved a tryst. We got secretly serviced. Odds are we won't be employed tomorrow. Secret service man in come. Dad was a minister of music. Do you know that one time my dad asked me, I was like seven years old, and my dad asked me to sing Amazing Grace in front of the whole congregation. And I did it, and I got a spanking for it. I bet you'd like to hear that story, wouldn't you? Because see, I, I remember getting asked to do it, but seven years old, I mean, I had heard that song so much. And I didn't really know what it meant, but it was boring to me because it was just over and over. They'd sing it every week. And so when my dad said, you know, would you do Amazing Grace in front of the congregation? I knew the words, but I was kind of bored with the tune. And so, but when he, when he got me up there, you know, I was up there and right before I sang, I remembered that I had noticed the words to Amazing Grace would fit perfectly into my mother's favorite song, which was Ghost Riders in the Sky. <laughs> so I said, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see you. And within the 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Praise the Lord. Let's hear it for Jesus, the Holy Ghost Rider in the sky. Just a minute, darling. It's just what I've always wanted. You were great! Deception. It's a fundamental part of life. Now, polls show that men tell twice as many lies as women. Assuming the woman they ask told the truth. <laughs> we deceive to gain advantage and to hide our weaknesses. The Chinese general Chun Tzu said that all war was based on deception. Oscar Wilde said the same thing of romance. Some people deceive for money. Let's play a game. Three cards, three chances. One five will get you ten, ten will get you twenty. Now, where's the lady? Where is the queen? This one? Sorry, you lose. Well, <laughs> I didn't deceive you. You deceived yourself. Self-deception. That's when we convince ourselves that a lie is the truth. regular number. It's a home number of somebody, for, and it is from your family. It's a woman. It's a woman from your family. Is that true? It is. Yes. Do you have a sister? Yes. 
Do, do, you choo- did you choose your sister? Your sister has kind of, I want to say like Darlene or something, but Dar? No. Wait. You call her Dar? <laughs> what is her name? Her name's Darlene, and we call her Dar. Her name's Darlene, but you call her Dar. Yeah. What are the last four digits of Dar's phone number? Oh, my God. 4145. <laughs>